Hi, this is Danielle from Danielle the Domestic Scientist. Today I have another home decor haul, so stay tuned. I purchased my home earlier this year and one of the things that drew me to the house that I picked was a large dining room. I have a very large dining room table and I do like to entertain. However, in the first few years of purchasing a home, you tend to spend a lot of money. This dining room had a brass chandelier and while I wasn't a fan of the brass, it was in a good condition and I said, well, you know, I'm just going to leave it and then maybe a few years down the road, I'll replace it. So I happened to be in home goods, well, because I'm always in home goods, and I saw these black and brass candle holders and I decided to get it kind of to play up the brass and embrace the brass that's already in the dining room. So. I haven't put a tablescape together to use this yet, but I do like them. So hopefully I'll use these in the fall. In the meantime, I like the height that they give and I like the gold detailing on the top. So I think this will be a really nice addition to my dining room. So I was in Home Goods and I found this Unity statue. It's carved from a single piece of wood and it's made by hand. There are five people and their arms are interlocked. So if you look in the middle, it looks like some sort of a lattice. So there are no breaks in the wood anywhere. So there's no, no wood glue, no nails or anything to hold it together. It's just a seamless carving. If you push their heads together or you pull their legs together, it'll collapse almost like an umbrella. So it, it's a very flexible piece. It's also very tall. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, but I am happy to have it. And it's one of those handcrafted in Ghana pieces that you can get from Home Goods if you look hard. They can be very difficult to find, but I'm really excited to have it and I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. But it's one of those pieces I'm going to set aside until I decide what to do with it. I found yet another ginger jar at Home Goods. This one is a large turquoise ginger jar. I love the fact that it has this intricate cutout all the way around and the intricate detailing even extends to the lid. This one is a nice teal. However, in certain lightings, it looks a little bit more turquoise. I like the fact that I can push, pair it with turquoise decorations or I can go for something a little bit darker. So I do like the versatility of the shade of teal. I happen to really love this piece, but based on the size, I don't think it'll go on my dining room table. This might wind up being a coffee table piece, but it's also too big for the bookcase. So I'm thinking this might just wind up being with the coffee table. But once it has a permanent home, I'll be sure to take pictures and do probably another video on this one since it is one of my favorite pieces. A while back, I had seen a video by Be My Guest with Denise and she had found an antique brass balance and I was really impressed with it. So I found this one in Kirkland's recently and I decided to go for it. I've also been seeing them trending all over Pinterest. People put different things on them and mostly it's things in white ceramic. But I did notice that most people who are using these have a rustic or a farmhouse type decor and that really does not fit my aesthetic. However, I am going to take the risk and see how I can best work this out to fit in my home. I saw this floral arrangement at my local home goods, but I was on the fence about it. I like the fact that it was blue and green, which is kind of hard to find in a floral arrangement. I also like the fact that it was the appropriate scale and height for my table, but it didn't have any turquoise stems, which is a really big part of my home decor. And also it wasn't quite as full as I wanted it to be. But the best part is it was on sale 50% off. And if you've ever purchased a faux floral arrangement, you know those can run well over $100. So I decided to go ahead and make the purchase. After leaving the home goods, I ran over to my local Michaels. I bought two of these turquoise stems and then I bought four of these turquoise peonies stems. So here's what I'm going to actually add to the floral arrangement. 
I just snip the bottom of it and then I just put it in my vase and it helped to fill out my floral arrangement and also add the pops of turquoise that I really wanted. In other seasons I can take those out and go with a darker green flower or I can go with a pink flower or anything else if I want to just add other pops of color. And you can't even tell that I've added additional stems at this point. So I'm really happy about this particular purchase. This is currently the centerpiece for my dining room table, but also it can, looks really nice on my coffee table, as you can tell. So this home goods haul for me was everything. I was so excited to be able to go for a second home goods run after reopening. I love the way the things are coming together and I can't wait to show you my finished products. This is Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.